some of these problems coming up. All right, so the next problem. Let's go and do that now. So let's say we have uh, g of x is equal to x minus 2x squared, and the whole thing is squared. And you might look at that and say, well, where's the product rule here? Where are the two functions here? He hasn't told me how to do this. But actually, you can rewrite this. And my advice is for you to rewrite this as the following. I think you can see where I'm probably going to go with this. 2x squared, x minus 2x squared. This is just what this is equal to here. So write it this way. Now you have two functions of x multiplied by one another. And you can use the product rule of differentiation. So we can say g prime of x is equal to first term times the derivative of the second. So we'll say x minus 2x squared times the derivative of the second. x minus 2x squared derivative plus the second guy times the derivative of the first x minus 2x squared times the derivative of the first, x minus 2x squared. So in this case, derivative. In this case, it's pretty silly because every term is really the same thing, but still, this is how you would methodically take this derivative. So to continue on, we're going to leave this alone. We can't really do anything with it yet. 2x squared. What is the derivative of this term? Uh, the derivative of the first part, this is x to the first power. You're just going to get a 1. The 1 is going to come out of the exponent times x to the 0 power. What are you going to get for this derivative? You'll have this negative 2 times 2, and the 2 comes down. So you have negative 4x. Subtract 1 off the exponent, you're going to get 1. So we'll just leave it as negative 4x. Okay? And then plus. Notice that these two, two terms, because of this problem, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to get the same thing here. I'm going to have x minus 2x squared times 1 minus 4x times 1 minus 4x. Uh, now there's a million different ways you can proceed, but you know I could do FOIL here, I could do FOIL here, I could simplify, but the fact of the matter is I've, I've taken the derivative. Literally this answer is the derivative. But since I see that these terms are duplicated, I'm just going to wrap my answer up and just put a 2 out here and say x minus 2x squared times 1 minus 4x. And I'm just going to call it a day. And that is the correct answer. You could really leave it like this, but you know, it's not totally simplified. I could expand this out and bust it all out and collect like terms. That's fine too. When you take derivatives, you're going to find a lot of times you're going to get down to an answer and then you have to simplify. It's kind of like, you know, simplifying a fraction. You know that you need to do it. It's just that sometimes you're going to get down to a point where maybe you don't want to simplify anymore because it's really not that fruitful. It's not going to do anything different than what you already have. And it's sort of like style points anyway. So the most important thing is to make sure you're taking the derivatives right. Because if you plot this function, it is the derivative. And it will look exactly like this, this guy here because they're the same thing. And if you expand this guy out, then of course you're going to have the same thing again. All right. Let's do another one. Let's say we have... Uh,